First off, congratulations on the film. Had Thank a whole lot of fun much. with it. Um, Marvel films are always cr surrounded in secrecy, but th mm -hmm. for this one, you'd have had to be secret about not only this film, but also Avengers Endgame. True. Were there any sticky moments? Was it really difficult to be talking about this film while you were making it? Tom? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing. <laughs> Shut up, you guys. <laughs> No, it's not the easiest thing to do because obviously the whole world wants to know mm -hmm. and I know. Yeah. You know, it's quite it's quite a cool thing to be able to instantly trend on Twitter. Yeah. Nice. Like, I've got a few nice. of those, you know. Yeah, for when it comes to films. Yeah, I can just I'm mean, like, do you know what? I really feel like trending on Twitter today. <laughs> Iron Man <laughs> dies. <laughs> dot dot dot. Sin. <laughs> yeah. Was apart from the fact you shot all over Europe on this one, were there any particular difference from this to Homecoming? Did you feel when you were shooting it? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, a lot of, yeah loads. A lot of differences. We're all better at making movies, yeah. which was <laughs> a, a big one. A lot of professional. Also, it feels yeah. maybe bigger. even a little less professional. Yeah, just so professional that we became we, less professional. Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But also it feels bigger, you know? Um, mm -hmm. I think during the first one, oh, quite literally, my part got a lot bigger. But, <laughs> but uh, you know, for, for a lot of it, it's like, you know, we're, we're hanging out, we're in Atlanta, mm -hmm. you know? It's kind of sure. like being, you know, in high school yeah. or in schools a lot and all yeah. that. But this time we're like traveling all over the world. Yeah, it was cool. You know, and, and at these beautiful historic landmarks and, yeah. And um, I think that that feels pretty crazy when you yeah, know that like you're a part of something that's just so huge. Yeah. Not bad. Great. Not bad at all. Um, was it on along those lines? Was there anything that you happened to film that you really loved but ended up didn't end up getting in the final cut like there always are on? There was a love scene between Jacob and I that was cut. <laughs> I think it, it was just confusing the audience. Yeah, it was just really. Like, it was confusing yeah. when we filmed it, yeah. but it felt right, and it, we just like, had to cut it. Ultimately, the test came back really positive for it. It's yeah. just that it just it just never. I I, th I think they're gonna save it for the next save one. The It'd be really one. awkward for the three of us that be in this like complicated love triangle yeah. right now. Yeah, obviously yeah. lean. Yeah, like on each other all the time like this. It's yeah, really great. Love yeah. that, guys. <laughs> for this one, um, for you, you get to go a bit into your namesake from the comic for Ned's mm. kind of storyline. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you. Guys guys know the fan theory that Ned is going to become the ultimate villain of the Spider-Man universe like he does in the film. What well, I've been saying since 2016 that I want to be a villain. The whole you know? goblin? Yeah. <laughs> you want to betray like, your friend? Yes. Like, I want to do, I want to yes. do villainous yes. stuff. Yes, I do. Let's work, <laughs> I want to do villainous yeah. stuff and have us fight each other and punch each other in the face in real life. I don't think Peter could fight you. That's how, that's how I'd win. I know. I don't think I could. That's I how I'd I could. win. And then I would beat the shit. Yeah. I would like use the weakness and then you'd get over it. Yeah. I would use my weakness to distract you. You'd be like, Peter's not going to... Ow, Peter. Exactly like that. Yeah. Is there I'm anything so else uh, you guys want to go into from the comics? Any kind of storylines? Because obviously Ooh, there's the whole Peter and MJ right, relationships developed mm -hmm. in this in a great way. But is there anything mm -hmm. else that you feel you'd want to explore in the future? Is there one where they go to Hawaii? Yeah, let's go to Hawaii. <laughs> oh, really yeah. nice yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. There yeah. actually yeah. is. Um, there is a Spider-Man comic where he's like fighting Doc Ock in a private plane, and then he falls out of the plane into a jungle, and then there's like dinosaurs in the jungle and stuff. And huh. yeah, that's a kind of a cool one. That's what James Cameron's Spider-Man was going to be about. Okay, so it'll be dinosaurs? like Spider-Man slash... Yeah, he wrote a Spider-Man script, and it was about Spider-Man fighting dinosaurs, I think. So it'll be like Spider-Jurassic... Dr Park. It'd be like Jurassic Park, Spider-Man Spider Awakening or something yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. listen. Spider-Park. It could work. It's a, obviously early stages, but if this film turns out to be as much of a success as the first one, we'd already be thinking about Spider-Man 3. Yeah. Have you already had any early thoughts about what you want to explore in that one? Because it leaves it in a very intriguing place. We've been saying yeah. that, you know, it's, sometimes it's not great for us to express our future ideas. A, because no. they might come true, which they probably won't. Because all of and our they're ideas... never as good as John's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Seriously. So, John's ideas are always better. Yeah. <sighs> makes you feel inadequate sometimes. Yeah, it makes you feel really, really not cool. Yeah. <laughs>